Hello everyone. So um, in this video, I'm going to talk about some um, stories I had on the 21st, um, the morning of the 21st of this month, July, um, on Instagram. But before I get into that, I'd like to say uh, before, um, like the video and everything. Uh, starting Sundays, I'm going to start doing a bunch of streams on Twitch to a bunch of all the MMOs I have because. Um, there, those games take forever. They're longer than the average person's playtime, and or hell, most games out there. So I'm gonna just do a bunch of streams on Twitch. Um, there will be a link in the description if you wanna check them out on Sunday. And probably what I'm gonna do is play one for a couple hours, stop, go do something, play another, come back, play another one for a couple hours, and like that. And the games I'm mostly gonna be targeting are Genshin Impact, my Terra games on for my Xbox. Um. My Xbox and my PS4. Um, Oni Girl, if you caught that a couple days ago, and um, Phantom Star Online on my Xbox. I'll be bouncing between them. I hope I catch you there. I hope you enjoy those um, videos, by the way. And so, let's get into the whole Instagram story. So, there are two stories um, that happened today. I'm going to start with the first one. Um, I got a message from someone who's a um apparently he's some guy on, um, on instagram don't know who he is i just got a message from this guy and he was talking about um he sent me like a message saying hey um george second reality um i'd like to talk to you about something i'm like okay who is this guy and i looked into and when you send me a message like that i'm kind of person i'm more first see what you have on your page and what you do before I even remotely think about helping you out, okay? Is it a safety concern? I know. But that's me. So, I still look at this page. It's privated. I'm like, okay, this guy's either going to try and let me do a business program, or he's going to try and hack me. Either way, just play it safe. They'll give him very little information um, as it goes, right? Does, like I said, does very little information. See where it goes. So... I go like, yeah, what do you want, man? So he calls me over the um, Instagram app, which is completely crazy because I never thought that happened. And I'm like, okay, man, what do you want? Um, what's your name? Like, what's your name? Why are you doing it? So he tells me that um, to call him Mr. RPG, which is a cool name, but it just doesn't match um, doesn't match the account name. Like the account name was, I think, Europe, some European language or something, and I couldn't. And the guy spoke like perfect English so I don't know what the heck this account was so like so what do you want man are you trying to sell me anything hook me up with anything because I'm not going to accept it He's like nah actually I want to talk to you about like um some of the videos I've been making which is expire me with the um MMO thing for Sunday so apparently he was asked um, he wanted to just give me some advice on what I should do with my videos um I'm like okay um like what should I do like what do you think I should um, do with all my videos and everything and he told me simply like um when i do stuff like my genshin impact videos i should um start with a removing the daily quest out of all the videos because apparently the daily quests are not necessary since they're just mostly missions that repeat themselves constantly repeat themselves and that's that and there's more you get throughout the whole thing but apparently it's like you do the same one two or three times a week so he just thought it would be a good idea to cut that out. Also, um, how my video, uh, apparently how my, most of my videos are just me clipping like 20 minutes of the video out. He says I probably should, um, if I do that, I probably should like, um, probably like, like mark out through my, like if I'm doing a main event, just clip it together as main event and or side story, make sure I put the story. It's, Chris, this guy gave me a lot of good advice, so I'm going to try and implement it. A bit um try and implement it to my channel see how it works out um the guy is completely cool and everything he was um he spoke with like manners um really nice fella I, um i enjoyed talking to him um and i do think that this um i won't try and implement those like uh, like he said i do think it'll be interesting to try and we'll see where it goes from there and, um, so we're going from a good story to a bad story, I guess, or a crazy story. So, after I got done talking to that dude, I, um, went back to bed because I woke up early. So, 
I um, went back to bed, woke up, I got another message from someone else completely different, and I was like, hey, um, who are you, man? Because um, I thought it was someone related to the last guy, but apparently that's the case in this day. He's like, um, he's like, um, he told me his name is um, some weird name, like, I don't know what language it's from, so I can't, but I can tell you he's not U.S. or European, so it was just some crazy name. I'm digging near South America or Asia. And I'm like, um, so what do you want, man? He like, he was trying to recruit me for, like, being part of a magazine or something. And, um, he wanted me to do, like, do game reviews or game time on, I have to do, like, under his so-called company and, like, just practically just do what he says. Like, I gotta play a game, play so much of it a week, and I get compensated, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, um, what's the name of the company? He told me the name of the company. And I'm like, yeah, it sounds like an Asian or South American name. Um, I'm like, you got, like, the CEO or the leader of the company's name? And I'm like, he's like, yeah, here's um the name. Like, can you spell it for me? And um, send it to me. I can use a Google. I got my Google translator. I can translate the name if I need to. He's like, yeah, he sends me the name. I'm like, okay, let me think about it. And... When we, and um, when we see, okay, so I take the name I get, I go on Google, I type in, I put the name in, see what's going to go on here, and I give out to a guy who's, like, looks like he's in his 30s, but according to the internet, um, from what I found, he's only been alive for like two years, which is an on that red flag, anyone doesn't know, so this, either this guy had a, I don't know, an auto, like either, this was his an alias, or this was some brand of BS, I don't know, this if I, if I, if cop shows shouldn't tell me anything, if someone has a name that's is only a few years old, but he has a body older than two years, there's something about it. So I did some digging, tried to figure out who this guy was and everything. And come and find out that, yeah, like I said, that's his alias, but the guy, that's an alias for outside his native country. Which, um, when I was looking into it, I found his real name and his real country. And this is where I have an issue. So his country, his country of origin is China, and I do have problems with certain things in China. I don't have a problem with Chinese people. I got multiple problems with China's belief system, teaching system, held government overall, and that's that. So apparently, um, the guy, um, that's him, will be like the leader of this company. He's a guy who's a practically a high businessman in China. He has connections to their government, he also has his issues um, of practically want to make, like, China the world superpower, and even like me, I don't think there should be one world superpower, I think there should be plenty, based on what the BS is, but that's my personal belief. But I'm like, yeah, like, I don't like this. Also, I found out that the, um, guy is like, he supports some other stuff, like, I don't like, like, he supported, like, the teaching in China, and if you don't, anyone who doesn't know, like, in China, an everyday person, like, a lower, like, the lower class people in China are taught that black people don't exist. And he was, and the guy who was so-called um, running this whole project was a big supporter of that ideology, which, if you, I don't support any form of hatred towards anybody, including racist hatred. So the fact that this guy was trying to recommend me to work for this Chinese employee dude, I'm just like, no, hell fucking no. So I messaged the dude back, and I told him a simple message that, hey man, I did some research, I found your guy's real name, I found out what he stands for, I'm not standing for that, and I will never do business with people who are corrupted, poorly influenced, some random bullshit, I don't care what you say, what you think, is not gonna happen, send it to him, and then blocked his ass. Because I am not dealing with that bullshit. So, that's it for the video. I hope you all do enjoy, um, did enjoy it. It was just something I wanted to talk about. Because this is a bullshit reason to me. And I am I like to have a good day. I had a bad thing. I had a good thing to happen today. I had a bad thing to happen today. But overall, I just wanted to let you all know about it before we continue. So, I hope you all have a good night. Peace.